hi everybody, Moxie here again. And just recently I've had quite a few people asking about FSL or freestanding lace and can we do it on the in Singer Futura software. I'm going to tentatively say yes you can. And the reason I say that is because of the uh, motive fills that we have available. So let me run through one. You make up your own mind, see what you think. So I've opened a, a new hoop on the screen and I'm going to go straight to auto punch and the design. I'm going to pick a design and it's one I've used before. Those who follow me um, have seen this flower before. So here we go next and next and I'm going to go to inches and I'm going to make it five inches. <clears throat> that way you can see it on the on the screen better. And as far as the rest of the loading decisions, um, we're going to be changing it all anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to change that one down, but that's more out of habit. I don't really need to do that at this stage. So simplifying image and my computer is getting really loaded up with files I need to make some space on my hard disk so it's taking a little bit longer so I don't want to stitch the background blocks but then I haven't got any anyway so let's go to the next screen and of course it's me so I'm gonna hold my control key down pick all three elements and change my density to three although again it probably doesn't matter on that and now no underlays needed I'm just going to finish and get the image on the screen so we've got something to work with so there we go um, size for size and view realistic there we go so there we have it on screen and I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer, 300%. And the first thing I'm going to change is the center um, center dot. So I'm going to come to Outline, Edit, and I'm going to come to Design, Embroidery Settings, and go straight to my Stitch Type tab, come down my list until we get to Motif. And then I'm going to select the Catalog. And here you have your Catalog of all your lace fills. <clears throat> so this is why I'm saying yes you can do freestanding lace because you have all these wonderful wonderful patterns to choose from so just need to pick one um, let's pick this one double click and apply it and there we have it on the in the center there but the distance I need to change that to 50 just so it fills that area a, a little bit better. You can play around with with this to see what uh, what works for you. Okay, 55 looks looks pretty good there. Now I'm going to come to the yellow donut part, stitch type, and I'm going to come down to motive, the catalog, and pick another one. And it probably really doesn't matter. Um, let's. Um, mm -hmm. decisions, decisions, I'm terrible at making decisions let's have this one so double click and apply and the same thing here I'm going to change the distance if my mouse will cooperate to 50 and apply that that's filled it a little bit better let's do 55 and apply that and I'm gonna maximum size I'm gonna change that to 65 no let's try 55 and apply that 40 and the distance 60 oh, going the wrong way um, 30. So there you go. Just keep playing around with these numbers and till you find one that, that you like. Now on this one I'm going to go to the settings tab and I'm going to give it a satin outline and I'll apply that and 
got the satin outline but it's way too big so I need to come to the distance here and I'm going to make that 15 and apply that to make it thinner there we go and then I'm going to zoom out a little bit to 200 and I'm going to select the red petals come to stitch type scroll down to motive click the grey catalogue to open this up and I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick this one of the circles double click that and apply it and this because it's two colors you can see there the, the two two tones <coughs> excuse me um, it's going to treat those as, as separate blocks but I'm, I'm fine with that and now I come to settings satin outline which I know I want to be 15 and I'm going to apply that and that gives us the satin outline for that so there we go I'm going to close come out of my outline edit and I'll change the colors in a moment but there you have a, a freestanding lace design. Let me come to File, Save Design as um, Flower FSL. OK. And I'm going to close it now. You can see at the moment we've just got the two blocks, but we know there's a lot more colours in it than that. So I'm going to close that, save changes to the FHE, the future future home embroidery. Yes, I'm going to say yes to that. And now I'm going to open up that flower FSL, and you can see now. Now I've saved it. It's created six blocks to create to get this design. And what I want to do is I'm going to change first. Oops. Yeah, first block to the fifth block. Let's try that again. Click the first one, hold the control key down, click two, click three, click four, click five, and I'm going to come up to the colours and I'm going to select white, OK. And I'm going to come out of, of that. Let's zoom in a little bit closer and to make it easier to see the screen colour I'm going to change so it stands out a little better. So I don't know about you but in my mind that's a fairly pretty freestanding lace. There's a couple of little gaps here that I could edit or I need to change those distances to um, maybe just fill that little gap in there a little bit better. But I don't know about you but I think that, that that's not bad. Um, so anyway, let me know what you think, guys, and I'll catch up with you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, take care and bye.